into yours. Top of the second here at the Big A. Halo's up by the score of one to nothing. Glad you could join us here on Fox Sports Blitz. It's our pleasure to see the Goodyear Blimp. We brought the Goodyear Blimp just in for this gentleman sitting in our booth. Eli Gerber, first ever Halo, kind enough to join us here at the top of the second inning. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, congratulations, heck thank, of a pro. Thank you very much. What's, uh, what's it been like for you all these years to kind of all of a sudden get the phone call saying, Halos are going to celebrate the 50th anniversary and we want you to be the man to throw out the first pitch? Well, it didn't hit me until actually until I came into the park. Really? It really and then all of a sudden I saw, you know, the, you know, just I saw every, everybody. I saw Mr. Uh, Mead and then, of course, I saw uh, Ginny and I thought, oh my goodness. And then Mr. Marino came up to me and they said, he's going to catch me. And I went, oh goodness. Yeah, good oh, movement, no. though. <laughs> the owner of the club, get the ball up. And, and, and still yet, even knowing that Artie Moreno was going to catch the ball, you short hopped. I no. It, he, no he was telling no, you no, to come no, closer. No, no, he he he, he, he got it. Yeah, he had he had the glove up. So it's not. So he didn't trap it. So it's an E two on his part. Well, well, he dropped it. Oh well, okay. <laughs> you heard it from Eli Gerber, not oh. me. So you had good movement on that pitch, though, right? That's what you're thinking. It's it's most of, yeah, you got the seamer seamer. working. That's right. Still got it. <laughs> was it two seamer? Two seamer. <laughs> yeah. Just as a matter of fact, I still got the ball right here. There you go. Yeah, see, right here. You're holding the seams. You're with the seams. You get that I, I can't help it. No, I couldn't help it. So, Trumbo has got the line on there, down number one. As we go back and take a look at the uh, the first pitch ceremony, there's Artie Moreno. Look at that action. Good movement. I saw him waving at you as you're walking out to say, well, hey, you got to come a little closer. That's a little too far. Well, you know what? I actually I should have come up one more step, but I, you know, I, I I got out there and all of a sudden I heard the people and I'm going, oh my gosh, do you know where you are? <laughs> and, and I said, hold. Oh. And isn't that easy? So no, was the last yeah. time you threw a baseball, then. I'll tell you the truth. I I have a place back home where a good friend of mine has a place called the Zone. Yeah. And I threw in there for about I threw three buckets of baseballs one day. And I felt great. I said, okay, fine, you know, that'll be enough. To get ready for this? Yes, and fantastic. But I'll tell you what, it's the, no. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, when you get out, when it, when, when you get out there and there's 50,000 people or 40 or whatever it is that are going, no. It's a little bit different. Oh, I bet. How does it feel to be part of this tremendous history that, that we have here as the Eagles, a 50 year celebration this year? Well, you, you know what? Uh, I, I always, you know, I'm proud of being the first angel. I always have been. And one in the first game and everything else. But you take it for granted when you're, you know. And then all of a sudden something like this comes. And you have uh, people that bend over backwards to try to get you here. And I'm, I'm a trivia question until I die. You know, I'm the first guy that's ever been drafted. So, you know, that's kind of nice. And, yeah. and the first angel. What was that like for you to get that phone call? You were with the Yankees at the time. They exposed you to the draft, and the Angels picked you up. I was a little disappointed, but it was very, very strange. Haney, uh, I think Fred, I talked to Fred first. And then Mr. Archer called, talked to me. And the first thing that hit me in you know, my coconut was, I used to pay 50 cents in South Chicago to go see him right. on a Saturday. And watch seven cartoons, three uh, serials, and about four uh, Roy Roger and uh, Gene Autry, where he goes. And I always wanted to be like him you know, when we came home and played cops and robbers or Indians and, you know, all that. Was, and then he's on the phone with you. And he's talking to me. <laughs> yeah, like, like, uh, like a father. You know, so. That's great. And he was like a father, too. Yeah. To us. Yeah. Now you watch a lot of baseball now to this day. Is there anybody we can, as a modern pitcher, to compare to the way that we used to throw the baseball? <laughs> I know you have his last name like mine, so that's good. Well, <laughs> it, it's funny. Uh, we tried to compare about maybe 15 or 20 years ago. We took a guy and he always asked me, uh, forever, how much money do you think you'd, you'd be making? I said, I don't know. I have no idea. So I took a picture and I forget who it was. He might be 500 one year, might, might be two games of 500 one year, you know, no thing. And the guy was making like $5 million or whatever it is. But a hard sinker ball pitcher that didn't have good control. You know, and I, I think by, by the standards now with the uh, pitch count, 
in the fourth inning, I would have been out of game. <laughs> you know, so, you so know, you didn't I, like that pitch count stuff. No, I'm not very, I'm not very proud of that. I used to drive Stengel nuts. Yeah. Oh yeah. High pitch counts early on. Oh boy. So you were the Daisuke Matsuzaka of the early '60s, is what you said. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you know that the thing is too. I know that he had a little bit of the temper, and I did too. Mark Gusa. Yes, and I. There's a few clubhouses that I broke up, and you know, I'm glad we're not playing at those parks anymore. Looks like Irvin Santana is going to have a one-two inning. He does. He like Irvin. Thank you so very much for joining us. Congratulations. We'd like for you to sign that back wall if okay. you don't mind. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We head to the bottom of the second. Halos up one nothing.